when he first, when you guys first spoke about this, mm. surely that was made abundantly clear all around that this is not a because he was talking about the improvisational nature of yeah no there is nothing to make clear in the beginning because there is nothing there is right. no script i mean we do start with nothing oh you mean in terms of the even the third act is unknown you're saying everything's unknown oh excuse I mean, me this is why we have 18 weeks rehearsal because right i mean all my part is that ring michael ring up and say do you want to be in my film and right. i say yes or no Right. He doesn't say, do you want to be in my film? And it's this great part called Mary, who's a lonely alcoholic. Right. The first job that we do, and he does with every actor in right. the film, is to work one-to-one, -one, and you create the character from scratch, from the beginning of their life. Hmm. Now, obviously, he, he'll be steering it in certain directions. Okay. Um, but, you know, we created a character who was had a lonely light childhood. And, right. A father who's abandoned her, mother who in her teenage life abandoned her, who'd had a m miserable school life, um, mm. found it very hard to get have decent relationships, had a trail of disastrous, abusive relationships. Mm -hmm. um, so if you create all of that, by the time you come to sort of improvise that person at the age that they are when you see Mary in the film, right. you've got a you've got a person with a damaged past and. Uh, you know, a bruised character. I mean, right. obviously, it's not as straightforward as that because we've we spent many we've spent months creating her right. and building it up very very slowly and gradually to adulthood. Okay. So, but obviously, along the way, as I say, Mike is steering it because he's the only person with an umbrella view of the whole film and where the whole film is going. Mm. I'm only concerned with with Mary and where she's going. Right. Um, so yeah, so so it was never a kind of um, prerequisite that that's mm. how she would turn out. Mm. <laughs> but I boy, she turns out pretty sad. <laughs> I I just can't think of any American film in the last twenty years. They used to do somewhat somber, uh, downbeat third act films in the. 50s and 60s, but you know they're just they just haven't uh, occurred. No, uh, I mean Gina Rowlands did some pretty hard-hitting stuff. Good example. Who's an amazing actress. Right. Um, yeah. Yes, it's avoided, isn't it? Because I I I don't know. I mean I think cinema is returning to something now. I think that uh, thankfully because uh, mm -hmm. people aren't shy about putting women over 30 or 40 on screen anymore. Um, and it, it seems ludicrous. I'm sure when we look back on the last sort of 20, 30 years of cinema, we will kind of hopefully it'll be laughed at as a time that was so unrepresentative of mm -hmm. the real state of, of, of the world and, and, and the human condition. You know, that, and you know, women go to, go to the cinema a lot, women watch television a lot, and they don't want to just watch 20 year olds, beautiful 20 year olds, right. flitting around talking about nothing. Mm. They want to watch stuff that touches them. And, you know, a lot of people I've spoken to have said that, you know, they, they, they know somebody like Mary or they know somebody with aspects of Mary. Mm. And because let's face it, there are a lot of people out there who are maybe not lonely and drink too much, but there are a lot mm -hmm. of people who are lonely, who are childless and don't want to be, who are without a partner and don't want to be. Um, who go home every night and the bottle is their friend. Uh, right. You know, it's aspects of that are is a world a worldwide phenomenon. It's so, and I think the film deliberately ends in the way it does. Well, I know it deliberately ends in the way mm. it does, but it's. I think it's quite. It's it's a it's such a kind of <gasps> ending, isn't it? You're kind of it's like having a stab in the heart, the yeah. ending, because you do see this woman and you just think, well, I mean, a lot of people say to me, well, what is Mary going to do? Well, I don't know because the day we stopped filming, I didn't have to carry on creating her life, and mm. I wouldn't create her life anymore. And anyway, the point is that the baton gets passed on to the mm. audience, so that we leave you with the. Oh my God! What's going to happen? Right. You know, where's this going to go? Right. You know, she talks in the last scene about maybe going off somewhere abroad and starting a new life. Hmm. Is she going to do that? She's been talking about that for decades. You know, 
is she going to carry on drinking? Is it, you know, it is all up for grabs. And that's what's, right. that's what it should be. All right.